I'm standing in a mixed forest here with tan oak trees and Douglas fir trees and a couple of coast redwoods. And this little mushroom here has been harvested and placed in the corner of these two branches here. Now who would do that? This kind of behavior is typical of a little squirrel that we have here in the Pacific Northwest called the Douglas Squirrel. It's related to the red squirrel and one of the things they do is they harvest mushrooms and fungus and place them in trees and on branches on top of logs things like that and they do this to dry the fungus out and uh, once it's dry enough it will be taken and it will be stored and if they don't store it they may eat it right away but what they do is they hang these up in trees and sort of decorate their own Christmas trees if you will but uh, they do it with fungus um, they'll put other items in trees as well like uh, galls that they've been debarking um, and any other item that is food they may store um, I've seen them pick up pine cones and uh, move them as well uh, but the pine cone that I saw him move was uh, had already been fed upon by a gray squirrel so I don't know why the Douglas squirrel moved it but anyway uh, it did they also uh, eat pollen cones of pine trees and many other foods out here this is um, late winter early spring it's mid-march right now so the mushroom season is kind of winding down here and uh, the squirrels are going to be switching foods pretty soon once it gets to be spring there will be alternative foods available but right now this is what they have and so this is a strategy um, that they use when feeding is they store their food and and uh, let it get dry and then until it's ready to be eaten and uh, if not they can store it and feed on it when they're ready to do it but this is um, a sign that you'll find if you're out here in the forest mixed woods um, they like Douglas fir trees uh, because in the fall they eat the the seeds from the cones but they will be found in mixed woods and they're also found in redwood forests. So look for the sign of the Douglas squirrel when you're out hiking around.